What's going on? How y'all doing? This video gonna be about Dolly Parton telling Tennessee, no thanks, but no thanks for no statue. No, Dolly Parton is one of the greatest country music artists, one of the best songwriters, single songwriters, period. I mean, her music has definitely inspired across generations, decades, eras, also demographics. She has fans in all walks of life, you know. And one of those rare artists that despite hitting it big time and, you know, striking a chord with music and film and TV because she's been able to balance all three for decades, she's some stayed humble. You know, like one of them, one of them few acts that you could really feel like she's got some genuine realness in there. Like, you know, because like sometimes people be faking the funk, they talk to a teleprompter. But I applaud her. She was asked recently, they, Tennessee wanted to give her a statue and put it on the main area. And she said, thanks, but no thanks. She said, we got too much. What's all going on in the world now? Dolly Parton has been one of the few white acts that's spoken out against racism, uh, been real about stuff. And, um, you know, that's to be applauded and appreciated. And don't go without saying, because there's a lot of white ones who don't say nothing. And they knowingly know how racist this country is. They knowingly know the double standards, institutionalized, systematic. Not to mention in the music industry, she knows. You know, she's a product of the country music scene in Nashville, Tennessee. She knows firsthand how that good old boy sister worked. But I applaud her for speaking out, um, standing firm in her beliefs, and being real about it. You know, it's one of those things that you don't want to feel honored about something when you know things aren't right. If you have good human con uh, conditions and you have a good heart, you're not going to accept that. And she's doing the right thing with that. I applaud her because this is not exactly like the time you're feeling so warm and fuzzy with all the trepidations with a pandemic, bad weather, bad conditions, racial tensions, hostilities, uh, police brutality, a divide, economic between the rich and the poor, you know, so much going on. And I applaud her for taking a stand and saying, no, don't let this be about me. We got to do a better job in this country. And uh, it needs to be said. So I definitely applaud where she's coming from. And I wish more white artists did speak out on stuff. Because a lot of them are running around rose-colored glasses on, acting like things ain't happening. And I appreciate that she ain't afraid to take that stand. She didn't done it all. Ain't a lot of artists been on her on her on her page. Remember, she's the woman who wrote "I Always Love You," which was covered by Whitney Houston. So she ain't hurting for no bags, and she ain't hurting for no acceptance and no respect. She's got respect, but she's saying, "Hey, this country need to do better." So respect to Dolly Parton. All right, give me your thoughts and takes about Dolly Parton turning down a statue of herself in Tennessee, saying that. This country got too many issues to put. And don't give me no pedal. No, uh, don't put me no pedestal. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments. I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And we need more humble people. That definitely goes a lot further with what we're dealing with. I'm out.